Hello and welcome to Quell. Now what we do here, we focus on all aspects related to workplace violence. Now the subject I want to talk about, personal safety at home. It's a very sensitive one and it unfortunately rolls its head again um, here at Quell. And what it is, is where staff within an organisation have had a customer, a client, a tenant or anything in that relation to the organisation appear at their home. And it's quite concerning. I've had it myself um, during the pandemic. I had a female arrive at my home. Um, she had a very large mask on, very large dark glasses and a, a hat that was covering most of her uh, hair and things like that and a coat and everything. You had to see it to believe it. I actually was more in shock the way she was dressed than it was outside. She started quizzing me on what we did, she started quizzing me straight away. And it was like, okay, where's this come from? And then she started wanting in a course and it was all this kind of stuff. Now, I did have CCTV on my house at the time and I recorded this. Now, it took me about 15 minutes to basically talk her off my property. But what I found interesting when I talked to my colleagues and they watched the CCTV footage, they were shocked how much she tried to conceal her identity. Now, we still don't know who that was. I did go through a lot, you will know, um, a lot of social media abuse from some people. We did know who one of them was. Um, Fortunately, it was our competition. They um, don't trade in this environment anymore. But when you deal with anything to do with workplace violence, you have a degree of risk as a company to ourselves. But what I have had um, recently, again, is I've had some staff talk about the same effect, customers, tenants, clients, anything like that appearing at their home. And when I've spoken to them, I've expressed what happened to me and I've expressed that it's very difficult to control. And then we talk a lot about social media. I always talk about social media. I always say, how much information do you put out there? Um, I'm very limited on my personal life. But again, it's what you put out there. Then I also ask, well, what have you got at the house as a deterrent? Now, it's easy to say security lights deter people, but I always talk about CCTV, which could be very expensive, but I also talk about um, dummy cameras you can get from places like Poundland, Argus, uh, b and things like that. And, and put them up, and especially ones with a little red light that you put batteries on. Yeah, it might look false close up, but from a distance, it could look quite um, real. I also say, why don't you stick a sign up, a little sticker on the front door, you can pick them up quite cheap now, even off eBay, and it says CCTV in operation. That can deter, and then you've got ring doorbells or blink doorbells, all these little things, yes, I appreciate the cost money, but they are a, a deterrent. If you haven't got an alarm on your house, get an alarm box. Again, you can go to Amazon and you can buy false ones that have batteries on last so many years, and it, this is what you're trying to build upon is this deterring people. Yeah, I know we talk a lot about crime, burglary, uh, people breaking into property, but this is to stop someone from invading your personal life. The other thing I think is very important is this. A diary, log it all. I've dealt with stalking, harassment, you name it. I've probably dealt with it over the years I've been in this uh, sector. And the one thing I've found is that a lot of people know it goes on, but they haven't recorded it or properly put the details down. And people say, well, it's circumstantial. If there's a pattern, you can find it. And there's these little things that I ask people to do. Now, it's a very rare incident, but it does happen. So what I'd like you to do if you're experiencing this is speak to somebody, take some bits of advice from ourselves, but don't ignore it. Last thought, I spoke to a person before Christmas that was being intimidated by a tenant and it had been going on for nine months before they said anything. Sorted now, thankfully. So all I actually do is now and again, just have a quick thing. Don't scare among yourself of your own personal safety. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. And bye for now.